Hello beautiful people, welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, you guys are gonna be seeing the first installment of my two week trip in Europe. I'm going to six countries in total and I am very, very excited and I'm glad that I get to bring you guys along with me. Right now, it is currently about 11 a.m. Thursday at home. I will be landing at mid to late morning on Friday in European time. For my body's time, it'll feel like it's about midnight slash 1 a.m. So it's going to be a very, very long travel day. The plan is probably going to include me not sleeping until nighttime on Friday in European time. So that'll be about midday here. And while that sounds really stupid, I think it's probably the best idea to get on a European timed sleeping schedule as soon as possible because to go to six countries in only two weeks, there's going to be a lot of running around and it's gonna be a little chaotic, but again, I'm very, very excited. But getting on a good sleep schedule is important because being tired during this thing would be terrible. But I'm gonna go catch my flight, so I hope you guys will have fun following along with me and I will see you guys when I'm in Germany. I've just landed in Germany and I've got to tell you guys it's absolutely beautiful here and the weather is so so nice but I'm also very very tired. So far my first day in Berlin is going very well. It's almost about 2 p.m. and I've already walked just under six miles today. While I've been working at getting my 10,000 steps a day at home, this is on another level. Like they were not lying. People were not lying when they said to bring your most comfortable shoes. I mean I knew I'd be walking like a ton. My feet are hurting just a little bit but also because I don't have like the best shoes. But so far so good. I am not like people already look at me weird here i'm not gonna pull up my camera to like talk to myself so i'm sorry that most of my updates are gonna be right here but so far so good now i'm probably gonna go find more coffee or something i'm not really sure and just kind of see how the day goes <laughs> guys we're coming to an end on the first full day in europe i would count yesterday as pretty much a full day here because i got in at around 11 a.m ish but today i actually woke up here spent the full day it has been a good day definitely long a lot of walking i ended today at just under 17,000 steps, which is 7.24 miles, which is a lot of walking for somebody who has a work from home job and doesn't do a whole lot, um, especially in like winter months. I mean, when it's summer, I like to go on hikes and walks and all that, but to start off, I think that's a good amount. I know that a lot of people get 20,000 steps, 30,000 steps, like they go hard when they come to Europe. And I know there are a lot of days that I'm probably going to be getting over 20,000 steps. I mean, today was a really chill day, honestly, and I am almost at 20,000 steps, like just over 3,000 steps under. If I would have done a little bit more this afternoon, I definitely would have hit 20,000, but I think I'm going to shower and get ready for bed. I woke up bright and early this morning. I woke up at 5.30 and felt well rested. I wanted to kind of see how I felt that early and if I wanted to sleep more, but I felt very well rested. And I FaceTimed my sister this morning because I miss her very much. And she was she was getting ready for bed at home, which is so just crazy to think about that like the time difference is so large that you're on two completely different schedules. But it was nice to talk to her this morning. So it was worth getting up at 5.30, but I have been super tired later today. Like after 5 p.m. I was like, I am ready for bed. Honestly, just killed some time. We're walking around the city, even though everything was still closed, which just in that walk around the city, kind of like looking around, that was already two miles of the day. And then I used the public tra transportation for the first time, got on a bus to the Charlottenburg Palace and did that. And that was where most of the steps came in. Did a whole lot of walking in there. It was 
gorgeous. Just all the artwork and the ornate features on the walls and stuff was just really cool to see. I mean, it's so fancy that I can't even imagine like living in a place like that, you know, like in older times, like living in something so extravagant just blows my mind but that was really cool to see that was our first site or museum and i think it was a really good start to the trip then i had some drinks near the charlotte Tilburg palace and then came back i've been talking to the camera for a hot minute now i apologize but i think i want to make different vlogs for each of the places that i go so i need i need content but also i think it's kind of nice to to debrief about my day uh there's just little funny anecdotes and things that have happened today i mean earlier at the charlottenburg palace i was buying tickets and they ask if you know what your age is because of course like children have a lower ticket price and students have a lower ticket price and you know as an adult woman you know of them being like oh my god you look so young you know thinking i'm like 14 or something i'm like that's no this isn't me fishing i mean that would be a weird fish to be like oh my god i look so young i just recently i feel like i've been getting a lot of people thinking i look really young and i i don't i don't know i mean i don't really perceive myself as a certain age i'm just I just am so i thought that was just kind of funny <laughs> if anything i was just like taken aback i was like oh you want to give me the 14 year old ticket price i didn't pay the, <laughs> the 14 year old price but but i did think that was funny and while i feel like i turned in relatively early today like late afternoon pretty much around the same time i turned in yesterday though yesterday i was so tired after the flight especially because i hadn't slept i still feel like i turned in pretty early it was still i feel like a really good first day and tomorrow is my last day in germany so we're gonna make a count and i'm gonna hopefully be able to like show you guys some more things maybe find time to actually talk to you while i'm out and about like maybe in a bathroom or something because people already look at me which i was i was like kind of wondering like i mean not that i perceive anybody here i mean there's tons of people from different places here and I can't like look at them and be like oh they're from they're from Germany or oh they're from Canada like nothing like that I I don't perceive people that way but I wonder how other people see me like do they imme immediately spot me and they're like American I mean obviously when I talk you can tell for sure but I was just thinking that not for any reason I mean it doesn't really matter but I mean I feel like people you know look glance at me when I'm walking around the, you know, in the city. So I'm not trying to pull out my phone and be like, hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Like I'm, that is not me. I am not her. Hopefully I can find time in a very non busy area to like chat with y'all so that you only, you don't only see me in this room but we'll see. But yeah, that was a pretty good first day. I'm gonna go shower, get ready for bed, and I will catch you guys in the morning. Morning, everybody. It is almost about 6 a.m. I've been up since four. My skin looks so shiny. It's fair. It's giving skincare right now. My skincare has done me well. If I'm being honest, I did want to sleep in later today because I woke up at 5.30 yesterday and I fell asleep about the same time around like 10 p.m. ish. I have been trying to fall back to sleep. I've just been, I like put on some YouTube videos and have been trying to go back to sleep, but it has not, hasn't worked, unfortunately. I thought about grabbing my Kindle and reading some but I was, since I was trying to go back to sleep, I didn't want to like fully get out of bed or like wake up yet because today's going to be a long day. I wanted to sleep more because I'm checking out of this hotel today um, and I'm leaving Germany. It may seem fast. I mean, I wish I had more time here, but I'm really excited to go to the Netherlands. Um, I'm taking a night train tonight, which it doesn't leave until like 10 p.m. ish like 10 to 11 p.m. so that's why I wanted to sleep more because I know it's gonna be a really long day and I'm not even I'm not gonna have an option to you know 
go back to the room, relax, or take a nap if I need to, or anything like that. Like, resting isn't really an option on checkout day, obviously, so I am gonna try and just chill for a while. The breakfast area opens at 6 30. i would love some coffee so i'm waiting for that so i can get coffee honestly but then i'll probably just come back to the room and chill for a while maybe read some or edit i need to have a video up in the next couple days i'm trying to become consistent on youtube i am filming kind of multiple videos at once at the moment uh so i don't know if i mentioned it to you guys or on a different video that I'm filming. Before I left the States, I pre-filmed some videos and just finished some videos that I was already working on. I've been sitting on like four or five videos for weeks, but I just don't want to edit them. So if my chrono- if the timeline of my videos seems weird chronologically to whatever month it is, I apologize. I'm just finishing up getting ready so I can go and get some coffee and I can kind of feel like my morning has gotten started. I don't know if it's maybe, maybe it's like the marathon people or something, like somebody running in the marathon or something. I feel like I hear doors opening and closing and like people walking around. I don't know if it's, it might be above me. That makes me feel a little bit better about being up so early, especially on a Sunday. I mean, at home, I definitely wouldn't be waking up at 4 a.m. on a Sunday. But yeah, I've been doing like really minimal stuff, honestly, for getting ready. I'm just putting on some moisturizer and some sunscreen and then that's pretty much it. I did put on like a little bit of concealer because I'm still having issues with this break out which it is finally starting to clear up i'm gonna go get some coffee i can barely like make coherent thoughts at the moment so i, I apologize <laughs> Because I was too nervous to be filming in public, it doesn't feel human to film yourself talking in public. Like, it, it feels weird. So, I'm coming to you guys to just give you more information about some of these b-roll clips. The train station you just saw me at, I actually fell asleep for like an hour, bent over at a 90 degree angle over my suitcase. Like, I was on a bench and my suitcase was in front of me and I was, you know, I was sleeping like arms crossed, head <laughs> in my arms. I was so tired waiting for the sleeper train to come. I think that the sleeper train was late if I remember correctly and so we had to wait extra time. I was so ready for bed because I had woken up at like four o'clock in the morning morning. Since it was my last day in Germany, I didn't want to waste the day, so we went and saw the Brandenburg Gate. We enjoyed some more of the city. We got to see more of Berlin because where I was staying was it wasn't actually in the heart of Berlin. We were in Charlottenburg. I still wanted to enjoy my last day there because from where I am now, I wish that I had more time in all of the places I went, but doing so and not just having a really chill day where I just sat, you know, sat and did nothing. I was so tired by the time it hit you know, 9.30, that in this random small train station in Germany where the sleeper train was going out of, I ended up falling asleep for a little bit. But don't worry, because I know this sounds like I was just sleeping in a random train station in another country. I went with my parents and so they, I wasn't just sleeping in a random train station. You probably could, but I'm very hyper aware. Um, so I wouldn't have if I was by myself. So don't worry. I was safe, okay? Be safe. Be <laughs> safe.